Uh, with regard to, to, to the, some of the solutions you yep. mentioned, uh, with regard to conversion buses, what about buses that still have a lot of life left? Diesel buses that have a lot of life left. Isn't that going to be a, a, a difficult one for companies and, and will require this a, a subsidy or conversion approach that may actually be, be quite difficult to achieve? Yeah. Um, I've, I've, for this um, hearing, uh, looked at some research uh, in terms of retrofits of some of these older diesel buses into electric. There are other forms of retrofit for, like Andy mentioned, uh, less polluting. Uh, vehicles uh, but still run on fossil fuels. You could do that in the short term, um, but we are looking at a 2028 period for zero emissions. So there is a leap that one ought to make here from where we are to potentially electric or hydrogen, depending on how hydrogen technology evolves. Um, some of the numbers, there's a company called eTrofit, uh, E-Trofit, uh, based in Germany, which is some, pioneering some of these examples of retrofitting directly into electric, making that one leap uh, uh, into, into electric. Just looking at some of the numbers, A, for starters, these are supported by subsidies by the German government, so that's, that's a, a clear uplift there. But uh, according to eTrofit, the conversion is on average 50% cheaper than an electrically powered new vehicle. So in that sense, you are achieving cost reductions, or not cost reduction as much as uh, it's cost efficient compared yeah. to buying a new, new it's vehicle. It's still going to cost. But it's still going to cost, much. absolutely. And it would still cost nearly the same as purchase of a new Euro 6 bus. So